Lizzie McTizzy and the Busy Dizzy Day. Written by Sarah Weeks and illustrated by Lee Wildish. Lizzie McTizzy has lost her shoe. She's late for the party, but what can she do? One blue shoe is one too few. To go to the party, she has to have two. Where is her shoe? Is it under a chair? If you were a shoe, would you hide under there? Where is her shoe? Is it up on the shelf? If you were a shoe, would you hide there yourself? She looks in the bubbles. She looks in the books. She looks in the plants that are hanging on hooks. She looks in the crooks, in the crannies and nooks, but there isn't a shoe in the places she looks. Where is her shoe? Under here? Under there? Could it be under some underwear? Where is her shoe? Over there? Over here? Could it be stuck in the chandelier? She peers in the pantry and ugh, moldy crust. She checks in the attic, achoo, only dust. She opens the cooler and ew, stinky cheese. She crawls in the doghouse, yikes, itchy fleas. She peeks in the mailbox and under the mat. She gets on her knees and peeks under the cat. She picks every place she can think of, and then she picks in those places all over again. Lizzie is dizzy from racing around. There isn't much time for her shoe to be found. The party is starting, but what can she do? She's looked and she's looked, and she can't find her shoe. Did it drop in the driveway and somehow get squashed? or plop in the washer and somehow get washed? Is it stuck in the chimney, all covered with soot? Or running around on some other girl's foot? Lizzie McTizzy is totally beat. She's worn herself out from her head to her feet. She plumps up a pillow and flops on the couch, and that's when a lump makes her jump up and say, ouch! Could it be? Is it true? Could that lump be a shoe? Shoe, it's a boo, and it's not even blue. So what if a boot doesn't go with a shoe? So what if a red doesn't go with a blue? Who cares if a pair is a mismatched mistake? As long as you get there in time for the cake. The party is swinging, the music is loud. The cake looks delicious and Lizzie feels proud. Cause Lizzie McTizzy knows one thing is true. To go to the party, you have to be you.